Software testing is a means of controlling the quality of software products. Just like with software development, the quality control process should be regimented and well understood. Quality and test activities are engineering activities that will help increase the value of a software project, reduce the cost of development, and reduce the cost of maintenance. This video describes how Notion Solutions tests software within its application development process. At Notion, test activities occur inside an iteration just like development activities. The test iteration is one iteration behind the development effort and only requirements completed during the development effort find their way to the test team. A quick overview of the test process in a given iteration is as follows. First, a test approach document is created to provide the testing team with a strategy as to how testing for a given set of requirements will be done. Next, test planning begins. During test planning, test suites, or sets of individual test cases, are identified and test stubs are created. Then, individual tests are written to completion. Additional tests may be created as they are identified or as tests are split. Once the tests are written, a test plan can be reviewed. This will help assess whether the requirements being validated are being tested to an acceptable level. Once the review process has been completed successfully, tests can be run. Now we'll step through the process we described. When the test iteration begins, the Quality Assurance team can identify which requirements have been resolved by selecting the Resolved Requirements query. There they can see which requirements need to have a test approach created so that the Quality Assurance team can move forward with testing. Once the test approach has been completed, we'll create test suites based on that testing strategy. In this case, we have a test suite that validates whether or not a requirement conforms to the specifications described. When the test suite has been detailed, we'll identify individual test cases that will make up the test suite. These test cases can be identified and seen in the work item hierarchy. In this case, we've just created test stubs as these test cases are still proposed. Once the test cases have been created, individual tests can be written once the test suites are assigned to testers. To write individual tests, testers will use the solution and the testing tools available through Visual Studio Team System. Once the test has been fully detailed, it can be checked into version control and linked to the test case. Once it's linked to a test case work item, we'll see that test case have full traceability all the way up to the requirement and down to the individual test that's testing that requirement. Once the test cases are completed, the test suite is ready for review. During the review process, each test case will be analyzed to ensure that it validates the test that is being run. Additionally, the test suite will be analyzed to ensure that the requirement being validated is being validated thoroughly and to an acceptable level. Once the review is complete, a test suite can be activated. When the test suite is activated, it needs to be assigned to someone on the testing team so that it can be executed. Once the tester executes the tests, the test results can be captured and bugs can be created. When a bug is created, a link between the test result, the bug, and the individual test will be captured so that the developer has a full context of when and where the bug was found. Once bugs have been identified, they will be triaged and assigned to members of the development team. The development team will then fix those bugs according to their priority within a given iteration. Bug fixes will then be promoted to QA for validation during an automated build process. At Notion, this build process not only compiles the fixed code, but also creates an entire virtual testing environment for all necessary platforms and deploys the updated version of the application on these virtual machines. This provides the tester with an uncorrupted environment in which to validate tests. Once the tester has validated the debug has been fixed, it's closed. Once a requirement has been validated and verified, it can be moved to complete. At the conclusion of each test iteration, all completed requirements will be demonstrated to all project stakeholders, including the customer, so that user acceptance testing can begin. 
This means that at each iteration end, the customer is always engaged to review exactly what work was done by the development team and the testing team. This also provides the development team and testing team with immediate feedback on the quality and value of the requirements that have been completed. Even though testing for a requirement has been completed at the end of a test iteration, that does not mean that the test created won't have a lifetime well beyond the validation and verification of their parent requirement. At this point in time, regression test lists will be created, R1, R2, R3, and R4. The idea is to organize the tests that have been created into test lists based on criticality, where R1 would be critical regression tests that should be required to be run whenever an emergency release is deployed. R2 would be regression tests that are required to be run when a software update is deployed, such as a hotfix or service pack. R3 would be a more complete test list that would take longer to execute that would include all the tests required to do a full software release, while R4 would contain a full test inventory and would be run in a rare occasion when a major release was deployed. Customers and project stakeholders can monitor the progress and quality of the software being built by utilizing theme system reports. These reports provide an immediate means of seeing how work is progressing and quantifying the quality of the work that's being done. This concludes the brief look at how Notion Solutions does software testing for its application development projects. For more information about software testing, application lifecycle management, or for more information about how your organization can improve its software testing capabilities, please visit www.notionsolutions.com.